Hello and welcome to our Parametric Garage Magic video series. In this uh, series, over a period of about 25 or 26 videos, we're going to show you how to create a conceptual parametric mass, which has all kinds of great little parameters built into it. Then we load that parametric mass into a project, the project we're in right now, and we use our building maker tools to skin that parametric mass with walls um, foundation, footing, roof. We add in a man door, we add in two windows and a garage door here, and we add three windows over on the opposite side and one window in the back. And we constrain those objects here in plan by saying, you know, this door and this window here are, you know, specifically tied to this corner by spe uh, specific distances and we constrain this window here we constrain this window centered we constrain these three windows to be equally spaced etc across there and then what we can do is do all kinds of great material takeoff so what we do is we say okay you know plywood uh, wall uh, plywood takeoff um, roof plywood so we've got wall plywood roof plywood siding vinyl siding we've got foundation wall um, takeoff so cast in place concrete cubic feet we've got footing takeoffs in concrete cubic feet we've got concrete slab takeoff in cubic feet and we've got roof shakes so roofing plywood flooring sheathing foundations footings okay everything's all tied up here in our nice material takeoffs and this is all parametrically tied to these objects over here which are being controlled and driven by our conceptual mass so this is just a little building a little garage but you could do this in a big way with a much bigger building and in this series what we do is we basically build everything you see before you and you know the formatting of this might be a little bit different I've done some touch-ups just before this video but for the most part we do all of our takeoffs all of our objects we constrain it we've added some dimensions in here for heights and stuff okay and now what we're going to do is uh, show you just exactly the power of that conceptual mass so from the sheet view over here that we're in okay what I can do is I can click on this view right click and activate that view once it's activated I can pick on that conceptual mass and I can go to the properties of it so I can go element properties what I'm going to do is change the slope of it to, you know, make it a steeper roof, a 912 roof. Um, I'm going to change the height of the garage itself to be, you know, 9 foot 1. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, let's say 20, uh, let's go 24 feet uh, wide and length, let's say, you know, 27 feet. We can go up or down, it doesn't matter. Uh, overhangs, I'm not going to worry about. Foundation depth, we'll, we're going to bump our foundation to be, you know, 5 feet high. Okay, so I've changed some slopes and dimensions, etc., of the parametric mass. So the mass itself instantly updates. Okay, Revit stands for revise instantly. So now I right click on that and I deactivate the view. Now I'm going to tell all my objects to update, and you should note down here some of these totals. Okay, um, wall plywood 808. Okay, um, roof plywood 1090. Okay, siding. 870 foundation 291 cubic feet 145 235 just maybe take note of some of these surface areas and cubic feet volumes and now what I'm going to do is and you'll be able to see this update for you I'm going to click on this 3d view right click and activate it okay first thing I'm going to do is hover over this wall use my tab button to select all those exterior walls and simply go up to here and say um, modify by face update to face all of those walls are now updated and my schedules accordingly click in here right click clear so I'm going to grab this guy tab to select all those same thing go to modify by face update all of those update foundation walls similarly my schedules click out grab the roof object itself right click 
and or sorry just grab it and go to model by face update to face the roof updates okay so the floor I don't have to do because the floor is actually tied back to um, the rest of the objects and the level so the floor I don't even have to do so now I can just right click deactivate the view and basically that's it you'll notice that all my dimensions here are updated okay this door and window are still constrained to this corner this guy is here this guy is centered these three are all equally spaced and of course all of our material takeoffs have changed okay so in an instant I've basically made a couple of quick changes to a parametric massing object and had all of that trickle down to my 3d model and my material takeoff so if you could just imagine taking this exact same concept applying it to a little bigger building um, we could do some pretty powerful things with conceptual massing and Revit architecture 2010 in this series we're going to show you exactly how to do that.